everyone you may have been able to tell today that iOS 17.0 has officially came out so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone XS Max which is one of the lowest supported iPhones supported on this version of software which is pretty pretty crazy now there's lots of cool improvements and changes first thing as always do not install this beta at all I would I couldn't recommend installing a beta even less than this thing this thing is not worth installing at all you can see that iOS 17 developer beta 5.91 gigabytes on this specific iPhone Fairly good size. I mean, that's not the smallest update size I've ever seen, but it's definitely not. I mean, it's, it's a it's a good size update. What more can I say? I would 1000% recommend not installing this update like I mentioned, but it is interesting that nowadays we have to install it via a paid beta profile where before there was a free one. The public beta should be coming out like in the next month or so. There's lots of cool features. First of all, the phone application got a few updates. Now we can actually customize our specific friends and whatever a little bit more inside of our contact. So now, if you want, you can actually edit a photo and make it have like that depth effect, which is really cool. And there's lots of cool other little improvements within here too. So you should be getting a little bit better experience within like phone calls. Voicemails also, like if somebody's leaving you a voicemail when they're calling you, you can actually see that voicemail in real time and you can actually just pick up the call or accept the call as they're leaving the voicemail, which is pretty cool. I wonder how that's going to look like in real time. That's an awesome thing. FaceTime also now has the ability of basically giving you the ability of leaving voicemails. So if you're calling somebody and they don't pick up, you can leave a FaceTime voicemail, which is pretty insane. And I'm actually looking really forward to that kind of stuff too. iMessage got tons of improvements here too. So now we have the ability of swiping to reply, which doesn't seem to work anymore. Okay, so now it's working. So we have swipe to reply. My other iPhone wasn't working. We have check-in now, which allows us to go ahead and automatically check in things automatically, which is really cool. And we have the ability of basically transcribing audio. So if we send somebody an audio message, they should be able to see that audio message right there which you can see the text of the audio message without having to you know listen to it so that's another really cool thing and there's they say it's a lot more sleeker it's a nicer design we have the apps on the side here now instead of in the middle or under the text box which i'm really happy about that was honestly kind of annoying so i'm glad that kind of changed up here too airdrop also got some improvements we have the name drop feature which allows us to basically send contacts wirelessly you know without having to do anything wild you can by tapping on the phones which is pretty crazy i'm actually really happy about that the keyboard also got a little bit of an update. So now we have first, we have autocorrect that's a little bit better, but unfortunately it looks like inline sentence finishes are only for the iPhone 12 or newer. We do not get that on the iPhone XS Max, but it's still a nice feature. I'm really happy Apple brought something like that too. The journal app got added. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find it. I think if I looked a little bit harder, I would probably be able to find it, but that is another thing that kind of got added, the journal application. And we have this new standby mode that I'm not too sure what the exact iPhones that are supported there. But now if you have an iPhone that I think has an OLED display or whatever, you might be able to use standby mode, which is really cool. So I would recommend not installing this update at all. It makes zero sense to install an update like this so soon. You are much better off waiting until the basically the official version of iOS 17 comes out, which they said comes out in the fall. I'm pretty sure it's going to be I'm pretty sure it's going to be late September when we're going to see that update. But overall, I would not recommend installing this update at all, and you probably should stay on iOS 16 as of right now. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.